Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1012. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about why last year was the strongest year ever for new millionaires that were created. Now, can you believe that in the midst of all the pandemic and all of that, we saw this craziness with money printing. And a lot of that money printing did degrade the value of the currency, which means that people that had a lot of money in cash did not benefit. But people that had hard assets, like I was talking about in the very last podcast, did benefit because those assets tended to go up. This is why it favored the wealthy, but also why new millionaires were created because there were risky assets that actually performed very well last year. And I'm gonna share with you this article from CNBC about that. And this was written by Robert Frank. And it has three key points. The first is the roaring stock market and crypto gains created more than a million new millionaires in the US last year, according to a new report. Second point is the number of Americans with a million dollars or more in investable assets surged to a record 14.6 million in 2021, according to a report from wealth research firm Spectrum Group. And the third key point is the wealthiest Americans got richer too, as they were able to afford to make higher risk investments that turned into strong returns. Well, they also are the ones that own the most real estate, that own the most gold, that own the most cryptocurrency, that own the most stocks, etc. However, this year has started out very different for a lot of the wealthiest. That's kind of retracing back to where they were before the pandemic started. But what I want to talk about is where the new millionaires were making their money and how that happened, because we did have more new millionaires than we've ever had before, which I think is an important point to talk about. So the article says, the roaring stock market and crypto gains created more than a million new millionaires in the US last year, according to a new report. And by the way, the Spectrum Group is the group that always does the research on wealth. So when you ever want to know anything about what's going on with the wealthy or how many new millionaires are created or how many billionaires have lost money, the Spectrum Group is constantly surveying people and finding out things, which is very fascinating. So this is all survey driven and real research. It says the number of Americans with a million dollars or more in investable assets surged to 14.6 million in 2021, up from 13.3 million in 2020. That was growth of over 10%, the strongest in years, boosted by millions of dollars in wealth created by the stock market, crypto, and other assets. George Walper, president of the Spectrum Group, said it was the strongest year ever for millionaire creation in all segments. Now, when we look at the statistics of the breakdown of new wealth, the wealth surge was strongest at the top. The number of Americans worth 25 million or more was up by 18%. And there are now a record 252,000 Americans worth $25 million or more, up from 214,000 in 2020. And the so-called mass affluent investors, those with 100,000 to a million dollars, grew by about 2%. When we look at what was the cause of the new wealth, the stock market was by far the largest engine of wealth creation for millionaires and the wealthy in 2021. The S&P 500 gained 27% last year, and NASDAQ was up 21%, and the wealthiest 1% of Americans gained over $3 trillion in stock market wealth in 2021, according to Federal Reserve data. Crypto and other assets like NFTs, collectibles, and real estate also gained in value, adding to the wealth of the wealthy. The total market cap of crypto assets, despite the wild swings in prices, gained $1.5 trillion last year to over $2.3 trillion, according to CoinGecko. Values of private equity and venture capital investments also surged. 
since the wealthy can afford to put more of their money in investments, especially those with the highest risk and rewards, ultra-millionaires benefited more than the mass affluent in 2021. And as I've reported here, private equity and venture capital investments require you to be an accredited investor. So those who have a million dollars of net worth outside their primary residence or make $200,000 a year for the past two years or $300,000 of joint income or in some cases, a registration like a Series 7 securities license may qualify you like it does at Link2. And that's one of the reasons I think the Link2 platform is very exciting for investors because you can get access to pre-IPO stock, which is where I think large gains can come from in the future. As you know, I'm a shareholder of Ripple, and that is one place where you can get Ripple stock, and I'll leave a link to it in the show notes in case you're an accredited investor and are interested in considering an investment in Ripple stock. The article also said the wealthy have the greatest exposure to the broadest investments. It wasn't just traditional liquid markets that did well, it was also alternative investments real estate investments, and crypto. The wealth gains at the top also widened the wealth gap in the U.S. The share of wealth held by the top 1% grew to a record 32% last year, according to the Fed. Wealth experts say it's unlikely that last year's gains will be sustained in 2022, given soaring inflation, rising interest rates, and a potential economic slowdown. Stock market declines have already started trimming the paper fortunes of investors. The NASDAQ is down 14.5% for the year, while the S&P is down 8.4%. So we know that already 2022 is starting out much differently than 2021, and that some of that wealth has been given back. But nonetheless, there still were incredible opportunities, mainly due to all that money printing and the fact that hard assets really grew in value. And I still think this year, my favorite pick of the year is silver and our mining stocks as they've already started strong this year. And that tells me that we're in the cycle where this is going to see the culmination of them be good performers. But that's just my opinion. This is still a good time to buy physical silver, especially American Eagle coins, while the price of silver is still reasonable. I'll leave a link to this article in the show notes, as well as the link for Link2 Private Equity, in case you're an accredited investor and interested in Ripple. And if you're interested in learning more about crypto, check out my new book, Three Steps to Quantum Wealth, The Wealth Heiress's Guide to Financial Freedom by Investing in Cryptocurrencies. It gives you all the information about investing in cryptocurrencies, how it fits into your current portfolio, which cryptocurrencies to buy, how to buy them, how to protect yourself, and lock them away securely. This is the time to get all of your cryptos off of the exchanges and into your control. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.